Kevin from Whole Fleet Diagnostics again. Uh, this video, we're going to show you a regen function in the jaw test software. Uh, so we're just basically going to show you what it looks like, uh, the information that's available uh, typically on, on a lot of the major manufacturers, um, and what your options are for kind of viewing um, live data during the, re the regen event. So uh, in this example, again, um, I've got a, um, a Freightliner Cascadia. I've got a simulator of the... Uh, uh, of the ECM or the vehicle here. So the, the values that we're going to see during this regen are going to be a little bit unrealistic, just as a side note. Um, but uh, the regen capability, regen functionality is 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 very complete with the JAL test software for um, for most manufacturers, uh, particularly on, on highway. Uh, so if you're looking to regen anything, uh, JAL test software should be able to hook you up. So um, in this example here, I've got a, uh, a Freightliner Cascadia again, and uh, the regen function might show up in multiple modules. So, uh, for example, if I go into the Detroit um, diesel engine, uh, this would be, uh, you know, a potentially a place where you might find a regen, a regen uh, functionality. Now, regens are typically found under the maintenance section of the software. So if I go under maintenance, you're going to see particulate filter regeneration. Now, if I click on that, it tells me here that this action is available in the CPC common powertrain controller. So please disconnect from this system and then connect to the ca common powertrain controller where you'll be able to perform that regeneration. So at the very least, you know, we tell you that it, it's available now. Um, you know, it, it could be a situation where, um, you know, you go into the the electronic diesel controller and you find you let's say you couldn't find the regen uh what jaw test has done is put that regen function in there so that you you know you can be notified of which module it might be in the other option could be you know you might go right to exhaust gas after treatment because that's you know that's typically what we're we're uh, where you'd find a regen functionality uh, again if I, I can do the same thing through the exhaust gas after treatment it's going to tell us to go to this common powertrain controller Okay. The other option here is if I if I click on actions, I can type in the word regen, um, and then this is going to bring up all the modules that have a you know a regen functionality in them. So you can see I can access a regen function in all three of these these modules. Um, if I try in either of these two, the engine or the exhaust after treatment system, um, that is going to direct me to uh, connect to that powertrain controller. Okay, so let's back up here. I'm going to connect to the common powertrain controller. And then once I'm in this common powertrain controller, I'm going to find, again, regenerations are found under the maintenance section of the, uh, of the dashboard. Um, once I find I've got two options here, low temperature or just a regular regen, um, again, got to make sure you have that expert mode active. And then once I get into the regen uh, functionality here, uh, the nice thing is it's, you know, typically for uh, the major manufacturers, you're going to get a nice, uh, thorough, comprehensive view of uh, what, you know, the specifications are supposed to be for this regen. So you can see here, um, you know, the maximum uh, temperature you should see potentially is 800 degrees Celsius. Um, you're going to see the RPM, what the engine brake percent should be. Um, the uh, You might even see EGR valve percent um, and, uh, you know, turbocharger per uh, percentage and all that. And then it gives you a kind of a diagram of the after treatment system and all its components. Okay, so lots of information here. Once you've kind of got an idea of, of what you're looking at, um, go ahead and hit the check mark. And then once we've hit that check mark, it's going to ask us uh, to meet the requirements. So in this case, vehicle speed would have to be zero, engine speed would have to be idle. Okay, and then once we've checked those boxes here, um, this is going to turn into a check mark. And then once all that is good, we hit we hit uh, next. And then this goes right into the regen process. Okay, so what I really like about um, how Joltest has set this up is we have our live data just below here. Okay, and we can search through this data as well. We can look for individual parameters if we'd like. Um, but one of the best features I think is the uh, the link here that we have to the system display. So we can actually have a diagram of the after treatment system up with all of our different readings and measurements um, live while we're in the regen event. So we can see that, you know, the progression of our temperature across that DPF. We can see, you know, NOx uh, readings. We can see DEF injection, after treatment injection. All that stuff is available um, in the system view. 
okay so this is a nice graphical display um, really pretty straightforward um, and just a lot easier to visualize we also have the option of looking at um, a graph okay so we can actually graph any of these uh, that, that we want so if you're you know if you're one of those guys that likes to look at their um, you know DOC in D DPF in and DPF outlet temperatures you can load those all up on this graph and you can you know watch them as they rise uh, progressively throughout the regen um, event okay so this is uh, this is the regen function uh, pr pretty uh, pretty intuitive uh, pretty um, uh, uh, pretty comprehensive in terms of the amount of information that we get from the uh, from the module in terms of um, uh, parameters and measurements. So go ahead and take advantage of that. Now, um, the regen process again, you're going to find it in the maintenance section, typically of whatever it is you're you're connected to. Uh, but again, take advantage of those search functions uh, in order to uh, more quickly identify it. So. That's regeneration with your JAL test software. Again, um, make sure you subscribe for more videos on, on JAL test operation um, and tutorials. And uh, make sure you leave in the comments any questions or, or comments that you might have. If there's any suggestions for videos or functions that you want to see, uh, definitely hit us up in the comments and we'll do our best to, uh, to add those to our, our channel.